Hey everyone, what's up? Happy Friday. Hi, Congratulations. You survived another week with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, what are you going to shout first? This air track, this is not the whole body. Oh. It's my favorites. Oh, very cool. I just tried one of my, one of my locomotives. And you don't build this using instructions, right? You just do what you want? Yeah, because this is the original set. So wait, what has that cover? Does it snap on? You want help? Oh, yeah. you got it. Yeah, just so. How come just, this isn't snapped onto that? Uh, because it will. I don't want it to be higher, so I have to hold oh. it different. Ah. So, yeah, I make coaches for this. I'm gonna show you guys the coaches. Yeah. Keep a good eye. I will. Can I explain what I'm doing now? Yeah. Okay, so the last two times I did word games, which were very fun. Yeah. I enjoy trying to figure out the puzzle along with uh, you guys. So today I have something a little similar, but it's rhymes. So these are rhyming riddles, and we're going to have to try to figure out what the answer is talking about. Now, some of the answers are things you can touch. Some of them are not. Something It could be a body part or an object or part of your life, like a phase of your life, something like that. But... The riddles will contain clues, so I will read the riddle twice, and I'm going to try to help you out with the clues, and then you guys try to figure out what I'm talking about. So oh, this is one I'm coach. This. this is the other coach. I did finish this one. Ah, oh, very nice job, though. Yeah, a couple of guys. All right, Oliver, would you like me to uh, read out the riddles? You want to help us? Maybe. Okay, so... The first riddle. Now, some of these riddles are more like poems. I broke it. Some of them are very short. The first riddle is only two sentences long. I showed him the inside. Yeah, go ahead. Guys, this is the outside of locomotive. Wow, very cool. I didn't put any conductor or anything. All right. Our example. Our first riddle. You ready, guys? What's up? Listen closely. I have joy in bringing two together. Also. But darning my existence. Hold on, Oliver. Let me finish. My life hangs by a thread filled with ups, downs, and resistance. So this riddle is talking about... You? No, it's talking about something that we can use to mend clothing. It's iron. No. It's something that involves thread, and it goes up and down, and it helps build clothing or repair clothing. That's what darning means. Darning is when you take a uh, like a hole in a sock or a pair of pants, and you try to repair it. I opened the window so I so can see. So let's think. Oliver, what do we use to make clothes? Again? What do we use to make clothes, guys? People were just That involves on. thread. Guys. People were on along again. Yeah, they were looking for more beetles, buddy. So, bringing That's two together, funny. but darning my existence. My life hangs by a thread. Guys, what uses a thread guys, and puts I, clothes together? Guys, I make sure that not burgers in the skies. It also uses a needle, and then the the, um, the needle goes up Mom, and down. Mom, I make so it's the S. I make sure to not disguise as burgers. Give you guys a minute to think about it, Oliver. What? What what do we use to repair guys, clothes or make clothes from guys, scratch? Do you know? I'm seeing if they're in disguise a as blank, burglars. No, a blank machine. What do we sometimes, use? Sometimes they try to get you know. disguised as steel stuff. Yeah, I'll give you guys a minute and then I'll read out the answer. <laughs> so this one is a, da -da -da -da, a sewing machine. Also, a sewing machine. I can tell them a good, good fact. Also, abandoned traits are part of nature oh, now. Over. All right, thank you. Let me read this off, buddy. Okay. I can be long or I can be short. I could be grown or I can be bought. I can be painted or left bare. I can be round or square. What am I? So something that could be grown long or short, it could be painted, or you could leave it natural. What? Corn. No, not corn. You don't paint corn, buddy. Yeah. Or if you can't get it naturally, you might be able to buy one of these. Easel? Mm-mm. It's a part of your body. 
So let's think. No, it's something you have to trim. Hair. No. Hair has to trim it. Yes, that's not what it's talking about. It can be rounded or square, which means it could be molded into different shapes. You might have to go to a salon to get it done. And you might leave it alone as it is. Or you might paint it. I could tell something else. So what 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 think about things we will get done in a salon. I could tell something okay. You can get your face done, you know, you can get a little spa thing. Or what? People like to get what? Guys. Because of the M. Guys. Also, guess what? I right. added Okay, okay. Right. So when you get a manicure or a pedicure, what do we do? Mom. Do you know what a manicure is? Oh guys. No, he doesn't. Guys. So what part of the body deals with the manicure? Besides the fingers, it's an exact part. If you rip one of these off, it can hurt a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I just bite them off. I like when they ripped. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do, so that's the answer. So what are we talking about? So when guys So to the F. Guys, when they started to come off, I just eat them. So what are we talking about? Do you know? Yeah, I'll oh. give you guys a second. Oh, I see our neighbors out by talking. So right now I have a, one of the sticker I got. I don't know. It's a gel it's sticker. It's covering my what? Nails. What part of the nails? The skin. So to the F. We have five fingernails. Yeah, fingernails. That's the answer. That's the answer for number two. Alright, number three. Never ahead. Never behind. Yet Flying swiftly past. For a child, I last forever. For adults, I'm gone too fast. So this riddle is talking about the passage of time. So what do we call that time from the time you're born to maybe to the time you turn a teenager? It's what? So to the C. What are you, Oliver? A what? What's another word for kid? So to the C. C H. You don't know? It's another word for a kid. You might have a. A child. Child. Good. And what do we wear when it's cold outside? We might wear a jacket with a. What? What do we put over our heads? If it's really cold outside. A hood. A hood. Right. So put those two together and you get what? A child. Childhood. So this poem, uh, I mean this riddle, sorry. The, the longer ones I call poems. Uh, this riddle has the answer for that one is childhood. I Okay. Cry it. Ooh, this is a good one. I love to dance and twist and prance. I shake my tail oh, as a way uh, I should, sail. Should, oh, I'm doing this. Let's listen, listen, listen. Wingless, I fly into the sky. What am I? So let me say it again because Oliver was interrupting. I love to dance and twist and prance. I shake my tail as a way I sail. Wingless, I fly into the sky. What am I? Okay, so... This is something that flies into the sky. Um, it has a tail, but it doesn't have wings on it. I know what it is. It's a gator. No. I forgot the gator. So no, flying. it's not a, a gator. No. Um, it comes in different colors and different patterns, and you might want to fly it on a really nice windy day, but not too windy. So let's think. It's okay. a. It's a Oh, we got it! You got it! Wow! All right, good job, Ollie. So we're gonna go to the next one. Okay. I bubble and I've laugh been looking for you. and spit water in your face. Hey guys! I am no lady, and I don't wear lace. All right. So this one has to do with water. Sometimes you might want to throw coins into one for good luck. Good. Such so the F. And you might drink out of these if you're really thirsty. A water? No. That's good. So it's the F. Yeah. So what would we drink out of if you're at a park? 
And you're really, really, really thirsty. Yeah. You've seen one of these. You might want to use them. No. You what? drink out of it, Ollie. Milk. Milk. No. Or if you go to, uh, I think Rome has one of this. The Trevi. Oh, oh, God. To the F. I just can't tell something. Rhymes with mountain. Don't yeah. say the answer. I'm not going to say the answer. Okay, good. I so what starts with the F and rhymes with mountain and you drink out of it? It is and a... And water... Wait, ice. No. Oh, guys, can I tell you guys something? What do you want? Hold on, I'm trying to... Right, so for this one, the answer is a fountain. Mom, after you're done with this fountain, can I tell them? Mm-hmm. Okay. I cannot be other than what I am. Until the man who made me dies, power and glory will fall to me finally only when he last closes his eyes. So this is referring to fairy tales. Or in real life, you have a queen and you have a king and then you have what? Don't say it. Beauty and the Beast. I don't know if you guys remember that, but in Beauty and the Beast, the beast was a what in the beginning? A wild beast. He wore a crown. He wasn't a king. He was a... Queen. No, he wasn't a queen. He was a such of the P. And I had a dog. I remember Oliver. Dog? When I was little. No, no, no. There was a German shepherd. My friend Dennis had a German shepherd. And he, his name was this name. Such of the P. Mike. So, no. Okay, I will What's the opposite of a princess? A prince. So there you go, a prince. So uh, let's uh, dissect this. So you can't uh, be a what? A prince can't gain power until their their father dies. So that's what that was referring to. What? Guys, I didn't finish the cars. Okay. All right, Oliver. Well, let's try to figure out this one. You're gonna love this, okay? No, I'm still gonna have a shake. I saw a man in white. He looked quite a sight. Uh -oh. Now man is going to be the big hint in this one. He was not old, but he stood in the cold. And when he felt the sun, he started to run. Who could he be? Please answer me. Okay, so this says it's a man in white. He looked quite a sight. He was not old. But he stood in the cold. No, he was. So this is something that people like to make when it's snowing outside. Do not say the answer, okay, Ollie? I'll give him a minute. No. You might want to decorate him with a hat Guys, and a corn cob pipe. It's a, it's a snowman. Ollie, I told you not to say the answer. All right. Very good, Oliver. All right, number eight. Ooh, this is a good one. Thirty white horses. On a red hill. First the they champ, then they stamp, uh, then they stand funny. still. So this something Wait. is no. In your mouth. Call out the answer. No. It means train. Derail. No, I'm trying to hide from Ollie. This is the answer. Teeth. What I'm pointing to. Teeth. Ollie. Don't say anything. No, 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 no. Be quiet for the next one. Okay. I stare at you. You stare at me. I have three eyes, yet can't see. Every time I blink, I give you commands. Man. Do as you are told with your feet and hands. What am I? So this is a human. No, okay. no. Don't guess and don't say the answer. I'm gonna give them clues, okay? Is it a person? No, it's not a person. It's an object. It's a tree. You might find one of these on the road. So what has three eyes? Not literal eyes. A toad. No. In the road. No. Look at me. It's wow. How it commands cars to stop or go. Don't say it, Oliver. Okay? Light. No. Light bulb. No, not a light bulb. Treasure. Yes. You're right. A traffic light. Get it? Three eyes. So red, yellow, and green. You do as you're told with your hands and feet because you 
you know, you pedal a stop or a brake, and then you turn with the wheel or go straight or whatever it tells you to do. So basically, it controls you on the road. Okay. Always well dressed, but I never fly. Black and white, sometimes in a tie. I swim and slide and dance and glide with one person by my side. What am I? So, this is an animal. It's black and white. They live in Antarctica. Don't don't say anything. You might find it at the zoo. So, black and white bird. No, it can't fly, but it likes to live in the cold. And it might slide on their belly to have some fun, splash in the water, and they eat fish. It starts with a P. So, what is that animal that's a bird that lives in Antarctica, loves the freezing cold, and it's black and white? And they're really, really cute. And they actually. They are black and white, but they do come in a lot of different colors. So, I'm not sure that's entirely true. But it starts with a P, so I'll give you guys a minute to think about that before I reveal the answer. It starts with a P. Yep, it is a bumpadam penguin! Okay. I am. I'm named after nothing, though I'm awfully clamorous. And when I'm not working, your house is less glamorous. What am I? So this is a household item that you might use to clean, especially carpets. So what do we use to clean a carpet when it's really dirty and it's not my carpet cleaner because I apparently left that at <laughs> at the center. So hopefully when we reopen, I get to you know get that back. So what's another tool that we use? Such so as the V, and it's really really loud and obnoxious, and sometimes pets like to go after it, or kids you know cover their ears because they don't like the sound of it. Right, blank cleaner. So to the V. I have a very nice one. And they definitely use it a lot. Give you guys a sack and then we'll reveal the answer. Yeah, it is a right, a vacuum cleaner. So they're very loud. Some some dogs are afraid of it. Some dogs like to bark at it. I don't know. It's kind of funny to me. Alright. There's no reason to fear if you see me lurking here, even though I shouldn't exist. But few might have missed that I'm not all real, because nothing can conceal the fact that I'm something that's not at all living. What am I? No. Uh... It's another word for a spirit. Don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah. It's Casper the Friendly. So it's the G. G H. It's invisible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's invisible, I guess. And it might be scary. And it might be scary. That's right, Oliver. Good. I know it. It might be white sometimes. Yeah, it is white. Exactly. So good. Good job giving us hints. So what's white? It's not living. You might see one. It's kind of spooky. I know. All right, give us some. We're gonna give them a minute to figure it out, and then we're, you're gonna say the answer, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You think you know it? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a minute. Mhm. Mm you have it. Just don't say it yet. We're gonna give you guys a minute to think about it. Yeah. I like this clue. This is a good one. There's no reason to fear if you see me lurking here. Yeah. Okay. Say it, Ollie. A ghost. A ghost. That's right. That is the answer. I know it. Good job. All right. This is something that is related to the 4th of July. Don't say it, buddy. I'm going to read the riddle, and you guys figure it out. You might hear it. You might not hear it at night. Yeah, you might be hearing it at night right now, right, Ollie? 
is dangerous, so we don't play with them. All right, screaming, soaring, mm -hmm. seeking high, flowers of fire, flying high. I know what it is. Wait, don't say it yet. Give them a minute to think about it. It could be different colors. Yeah, Eastern art from ancient times. It could be rainbow stuff. Name me now and solve okay. this rhyme. Right, so they can be loud, very loud, right, Ollie? Yeah. They are made of chemicals, that's right. Also, they can also be different colors. What? Also, I can hear, you might can hear them from a mile away. Yeah, you can hear them from a mile away. They're very bright. So what lights up the night sky around the 4th of July? Also. Yeah, do you have any other clues you can think of, buddy? It's a rocket. It can be a rocket. Yeah. Yeah, it can be very, very loud, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any other clues? The colorful. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's like fire. Yeah, so fire is a clue in the name. That's right. I know what it is. I know you do. Just give them a minute to think about it, okay? Then you could say it, all right? If you know it, I want you to yell it out oh. or type it out. Also, it's as bright as a rocket copter. Oh, what's a rocket copter? Remember those toys that... Oh, yeah, on TV. Yeah, so the answer to this one is a... Firework! Firework! That's right! Okay, yeah. let's see. Ooh, okay. A three-letter word, I'm sure you know. I can be on a boat or a sleigh in the snow. I'm pals with the rain. That's going to be your hint here, guys. Reindeers? No, don't say it yet. Don't say anything. And honor a king. But my favorite use is attached to a string. What am I? Whisper if you think it out. No. It, no, no, it says it's a three-letter word. I'm pals with the rain. So think about it. It sounds like reindeers. No. What comes after the rain? Don't say it. A rain is up to the B. Don't say it, Oliver. And little girls like to wear these on our, their heads or on a dress, right? I know. Don't say it yet. But. No, it's not a bus. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Rain... What do we wear to a formal event? We have a tie. Deers. It's a specific kind of tie. Reindeers. No. I said reindeers. Oh, it's also because, a type of pasta. One day someone said reindeers can power the reindeers. I'll give you guys a second to think about it. And then I'll reveal the answer. But then I come up a prey to my heart. So, Ollie. What? What comes after a the bow. rain? A rain. Bow. Right, bow. See, it's a three-letter word. Get it? Very good, Ollie. All right. Deep, deep do they go, spreading out as they go, never needing any air. They are sometimes as fine as hair. Oh, can I show them something very Hold on, sure. Here, at the end. So what is it? Uh, a clue would be something that is deep in the ground, it spreads out a lot, it's part of plants or a tree. So think about what's underneath a tree. They can be very, very long, very, very deep, and hard to get out. I know presents. Whisper. Whisper. Presents. No, not presents. No, under a literal tree, not a Christmas oh, tree. Oh, I know what... So, can we... I... Here. Guys, you might not hear it. No. When I whisper presents, you might not. No, hear it. that wasn't the answer. No, this is a real tree. What's at the bottom underground in a real tree? So it's the R. Hi. Or um, potatoes are one of these. A blank vegetable. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's think. Really. So to the R. Uh, it's another word for like a destination if you're going somewhere you're gonna take a specific blank or UPS drivers have to follow a specific Stop. what it's no no yes or even garbage men garbage garbage men have a specific Radio. no Mom, look at they the have a specific what four letters well this one is fine but the answer to this is is for R. The Maybe. bottom of a plant is the what? Look at me. And C. He's on the floor kicking. No. 
The answer to this is a root. Get, think about it. Deep, uh -oh. deep do they go, spreading out as they go. So they go under the earth and then they spread out really far. And you know what? Roots can actually do damage if the tree roots are big enough or bad enough. So you gotta watch out for that if you guys have trees. Okay, let's see. Number 16. Ooh. Useful tool. Hold on. For who in darkness dwell within you, corrupting like um, a deadly what does dwell spell. Mean? Dwell? Yeah. Means when you think about something. Or if it li something lies there. So that's what dwell means. So useful tool for who in dark. So think about bad people. What do they do? Do you remember Snow White? And you guys remember the story of Snow White? Do you know what Snow White is? It's yeah. a fairy tale, right? I you, know. No, I don't think he knows. It's All right, so you have Snow White, who's Rise. beautiful, right? And then you have the evil queen. It's called a burglar. Who tried to kill her with a what? Blank apple. A sword? Starts with a P. A pen? Mm -mm. It's a something. Knife? No. Uh, snakes are full of this. It's another word for venom. Energy. Starts with a P. No, not energy. Snakes do have energy, though. But if they bite you, you might ingest their what? And it might make you sick. Allergic sometimes. No. Oh, I guess you could be allergic to a snake bite, yeah. Ooh. What? Guys, I have allergies because I'm allergic to rabbits. Yeah. Guys, don't see me. No, but you've been doing good about staying away from them, so they're all yeah. right. I'll, yeah. I'll, so, what did Snow White try to, uh, what did she eat? Or which try to get her to eat a what? Blank apple. So walking like a... I see. A lot of people are walking by. It's a nice day out. I have to see what this yeah. Is. So the answer to this one is poison. That is the answer. Useful too who in darkness dwell, because only bad people seem to use this, within you corrupting like a deadly spell. Alright, good know. job guys. A gun? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Large as a mountain. Small as a pea. So this is something that comes in different sizes. Endlessly swimming in a waterless sea. Shark. I think here, no, they're, they're talking about something above. I know. It's not on the ground. It's in what? Fish. No, it's in space. An astronaut. No, very close though. He gave you kind of a clue. It does oh. start with A. Guess what? But Mom, it's not an astronaut. Mom, astronaut. show me. Mom, show me a video of a real astronaut going to the moon. Yes. No, 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 no. They weren't in the moon. They were on the International Space Station. It was a live NASA feed, and they guys, were doing repairs on the International Space Station. That was cool, guys, right? We saw the heart, whole Earth, how big it we was. We did. We saw the Earth. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right, so think about space. This is something that flows through space. Aliens. It's similar to a meteor. But aliens. No, it's not aliens. It starts with the A, though. It's real. It's a space rock. Another word for space rock. A spaceship. A S. As. No, very close though. No. Aster. Blank Rogers. Rogers. Guys, remember that famous cowboy? He had a restaurant and he had a TV show. His name was Blank Rogers. So an Aster. No. No, the answer to this is an asteroid. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Lovely and round. That's going to be your clue here, guys. It's something that's round. I shine with a pale light. So it's round and shiny and reflective. That's going to be your clue. Okay. Grown in the darkness, a lady's delight. So this is something that women wear around their neck. It's round. It could be different color. It does come in different colors. I have a pair of this in black though. It's reflective. It can be pale. Mm -mm. Marge Simpson wears a thing, a necklace of what? Talk to the P. It is a type of jewelry. It does. It comes from uh, an oyster, I think. An oyster. No. It could be a girl's name too. Aliens. Are no. It's not alien. It's not to the P. 
No. No, you're not going to know the answer to this one. It is a what? Blank necklace. Like a necklace? Mm-hmm. Necklace? Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know if you guys would know this, but it was also Mr. Krabs daughter on Spongebob, but I don't think you guys watch Spongebob. Patrick? No! It was the whale, the whale's name. So it's the P. I don't know. Mr. Krabs? No. Guys, look at me! What is Mr. Krabs name anyway? Look no. Uh, so the answer to this is Pearl. Get it? Because it's round, it's shiny, it does grow in the dark, and ladies like to wear them. It's an earthquake. No. Yeah. It is. Okay. Dun 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 boom. All right, here we go. We're done. No. Clue. Here's a clue. This is the next riddle. Clue. I'm not the sort that's eaten. I'm not the sort you bake. So things are things. It says when you don't eat it and you don't bake it, but it's I something similar. I... Don't put me in an oven. I don't taste that great. Guys, I'm lucky that you can see us in Facebook Live. Yeah, yeah. but when applied Wait. correctly, Mom, around me you will find. Mom. Problems are so simple when my Mom, digits this is come a to mind. Facebook Live. Why don't we not read books anymore? Because they want me to do brain stuff, which is fun. I like it. It gets me to think and gets them to think. It's better for their minds, buddy. Go. Okay, so this has to do with math. So think about something you might put in the oven and you might eat it, but you can't eat this. I know what it is. Cookies. Black no. 3.14. A rabbit? No. It's a mathematical term. Mouth. No. Curve. No. Two letters. Right. P. Wait, stop. stop. P and what? Right. Please be quiet. What do we used to see? Our. But tell my brain. Our eyes. So P I. 3.14. And I don't think the numbers repeat either, but I've only really memorized them to 3.14. So. I've been telling my brain a minute. All right, Ollie. So what is that mathematical it's term? It's about. Hmm. I think you use it to like find the, di the diameter or something or re I don't know. It's been so long since I've done like geometry, but it is geometry. All right, so think about something you might bake. Blueberry, peach, cookies. pumpkin. Cookies. No, not cookies. Nice. Uh, what else? What other flavors are there, Ollie? Oh, strawberry or cherry. It's no, cherry. It's a peach. Guys. I have all the colors of the lightsabers. Oh, what's right. your favorite flavor? Alden. Yeah, so the answer to this is cherry pie. Um. Got it? Because pie is 3.14. Ha ha ha. Okay, I think this might be the last. No, maybe we got two more. Let's see. We'll see what we could do. Mom? What, Ollie? Okay. I am a strange creature hovering in the air, moving from here to there with a brilliant flare. Some say I sing, but others say I have no voice. So I just hum, and hum is going to be the clue here. As a matter of choice, what a am I? I, th I know what so, it is. So, what? Silence. No, it's not silence. Kill. This is a type of bird. By the way, I'll drink a juice. It's really small. It flies very fast. It's a racing car. And it goes, no, it's not. It's a plane. No, it's a type of bird. So it's the H. It's it goes from eagle. flower to flower really quickly. And their wings ah. flap like crazy. Guys, it's a bee. No, it's not. It's Blank it's bird. Bird. No, it's a type of bird. You don't know what this is. A seagull? No, it's like tiny. It's like this big. A baby worm? No, it's not baby. Oh, I know what we saw. What we saw? Let's think. Let's think about this. One day was really raining. small bird that flies super fast. Guys, what we saw a a worm when it was raining and we were at my bus stop. Oh yeah, worms like to come out after it rains for some reason. Maybe because the rain just makes them like rise to the top. I don't know. Okay, so small bird it flaps its wings really hard. Might have a. Do they have a long beak? They might. Go flower to flower. Guys, 
also. They get the nectar, and then they go to the next one. I know that. Or what? Um. Oh, also, did you know some? That's your clue. Um. Some of the traded train stations are part of nature now. Oh, are they? Yeah. Because they get overgrown. Yeah. So the answer to this one is a hummingbird. Have you ever seen one? They're really cool. They're nice and bright. They're little. But they can see my juice. Yeah. I'm, I'm drinking okay, this juice I wanted. Okay, No, I'm gonna skip that one. Ooh, ooh, this is a good one. All right, Oliver, this is gonna be our last clue. Are you ready? Before we go. No. Black are we, so we get something that's black and much admired. Mom, Men seek us. Mom, can we show ADD? If they are tired. Let's show Hold ADD on. On. We tire the horse, comfort man. Guess this riddle if you can. So, make it simple. This is something all bad children get from Santa. If they do not behave during the year, they get a lump of what? What's that? Black. That black rock, we use it to fuel steam engines. You get it from Santa if you're bad. I'm trying to think what else we use it for. Cool. You might use it to light a... Cool. Oliver! I knew I saw it. Oliver! What? He got it. You got it. Oh, can we show the ADD now? Yeah, you can show your ADD now and then we're going to go. I can't carry it. Where is it? It's, it's, my room's too big. Oh my goodness. So can we just fall over and just... All right, let's do this one little favor for Ali. Show you guys. He wants to show you his little 888 that he built, which is really just his mega. Is the 888 a real train, buddy? It's just the and see if this is real. All right. Can you tell how long it is? Sure. That's on my table. Where is it? Right here. Here, give it to me. We'll show it to them real quick. Okay. It's kind of like a mess under there. Yeah, there we go. But we're going to show you his train. This one he wanted to. Oh, no wonder. It has no bottom. How come? Because. The blocks. Okay. Yeah. This is. Oh, he. They can't. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool, right? You yeah. It's all by yourself. You should put something underneath to make it sturdy. I can't. No, no, careful. It's gonna. I can't. All right. That's I cool. I can't. It took a kiss, but no reason. I always have to use the words for my tank. My Thomas is taking it to oh. things. Got it. All right. You want to say bye to everybody? Bye guys. Say so have a good weekend. Next have a good time, weekend, guys. Next time we're gonna show you my how deep my glaze fly outside. Maybe I don't know. We'll see what the weather is. All right. It's good today. Uh, if the weather's Tuesday, then we'll go outside a little bit okay. and do our riddles, maybe or something, some other kind of cool brain activity. Guys, all right. Have a good weekend, Mom? everyone. Mom. Thanks for joining in. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh guys. What? I, I don't know if we can find my glaze outside. I don't know. We'll see. That's my blue night. Just so. All right. Bye. And